you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, I'm Kelly Robinson filling in for Kate Bergen today, who's at home with a sick little girl. We hope you feel better soon, Emily. We're here in Cedar today at the Crow and Gate Pub. Today on Go Island, power generated from wastewater, the inspiration behind making yogurt and flying with acro yoga. All that and more today on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV and we're here out in Cedar at the Crow and Gate Pub. We're going to find out what makes it such a unique destination and how they get people out here in the middle of nowhere. Now I can call it the middle of nowhere because I'm from Cedar and before we find out more about the Crow and Gate, we're going to find out about cogeneration. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're out in Cedar today at the Crow and Gate Pub with the general manager, Matt Olson, to find out a little bit about the history. Matt, what can you tell yes. us? Hi. Uh, the pub started in 1973. It was uh, opened by a man named Jack Nash, who was, had heard about a new license coming available and thought he would take advantage of it and uh, recreate what he remembered growing up in the English countryside. And speaking of that new license, it was the first pub in BC with that new license. Yes, yeah, first one that they had. It was uh, pretty, quite a, made it quite a landmark early on and got them on the map. They used to hold things like uh, medieval fairs, became really popular. And, um, and it's still really popular today. And yes. you have a bit of a family history here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I actually uh, had the privilege of growing up here at the pub, which is pretty unique. My family moved here in 1987. So we've been here for 26 years, and uh, I've begun running the pub, and we're going to keep that tradition going. It's awesome. Been nice. yeah. And it's definitely a popular pub. I can attest to that. We're going to find out a little yeah. bit more about what makes it such a unique destination later on the show. But first, speaking of history, we're going to find out about the history of yogurt. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. We're here at the Crow and Gate Pub. Matt Olson is the general manager and we're finding out what makes it a unique destination. Matt, what's, what's unique about this place? I believe our half timber construction, the rural setting, our big open fields which uh, make it possible even for helicopters to come in and land and join us for lunch. I think it provides a nice place for people to bring their guests. We get people from all over the world coming to join us and it's that real welcoming atmosphere that people love to sit and talk with their guests. It definitely is popular, you can tell. This place is getting full and, and you really did just open. Yes. But helicopters, really? Helicopters? helicopters. How often does that happen? Uh, not too often, I'd say. You know, we get a couple helicopters every month that come in. We're, we're somewhat close to the Nanaimo airport, which makes it a, a nice place for people to pop in. And, you know, again, very unique that uh, you can stop in for lunch when you're out on a tour. Nice. And I know the food is also one of the attractions. We're going to find out a little bit more about that later in the show. But one of the things the visitors from all over the world can do is leave notes. And we're going to do just that after this break. Still ahead on Go Island, a special Olympic athlete has something to celebrate. Acro yoga, the pairing of acrobatics and yoga. And flavoring yogurt with our island chef. That and more still ahead on Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV and we're here at the Crow and Gate Pub out in Cedar and as we mentioned earlier in the show, visitors from all over the world come here and one of the unique things that they do is they can leave little notes. Right up here, there's a clothes peg. And thank you to the fellow who's shading the window for us because the lighting is pretty tricky in here. Now, so in here, there's a little note. I'm gonna open it up. We don't know who left this. We thought about leaving a note, but let's read the one that was left here. So it says, on the 18th of February, 2013, on a cool winter's day, to sit by a glorious fire brings great joy and warmth to one's heart. In memory of dear departed who will be missed, best wishes and safe travel to those who read this note. How very sweet. It's time now to head over to find out what acro yoga is with Jocelyn Matwee.
You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV, and we're here at the Crow and Gate Pub out in Cedar. It's quite the atmosphere around here. Matt, what, could, what do you guys strive for here? We just strive for that real traditional country pub feel where it's really low ceilings, really warming kind of colors, tones, our nice open fireplaces, shared seating where people can meet complete strangers and hang out and just feel really comfortable talking without TVs and shiny lights or any distractions to take away from good old conversation. So I think we like to. And of course, we, we are invading with our cameras and our lights today, so we are taking away a little bit of, from the atmosphere. And of course, in the summertime, of course, we're not going to go outside right now, but you guys have beautiful gardens, and it, yes. it opens up into the garden in the summer. Yes, we're really proud of our gardens. It's something we've worked very hard on over the years to kind of continue on with that. What makes people comfortable? What makes you want to stay somewhere for a long time? We don't like to turn tables over really quickly. We like people to come here and spend the day with us and chat and have good, good conversations and, and good beer. It's evident because everybody does look like they're quite comfortable. Yes. And we're going to find out a little bit more about the food coming up next. But first, we meet a special Olympic athlete that has something to celebrate. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV and today we're out in Cedar at the Crow and Gate Pub and it's finally time to talk about food. What can you tell us about the menu, Matt? Well, we really try to have a nice combination of West Coast food as well as traditional pub fare. We have everything from scotch egg plates, farmer's lunches, plowmans, to our pan fried oysters and of course the beef dip. The beef dip, I have to yeah. admit, is one of my favorites, and the salad dressing too, actually. And me and Todd are going to have to order that for lunch. Yay. That's what's on the menu. Now, it's not just food. You guys have a lot of local beer. Absolutely, yeah. We pour everything from uh, Phillips Brewing to Vancouver Island Brewing, as well as Wolf Brewing here in Nanaimo. All craft beer made on the island, which we're really proud to serve and share with people from all over the world. And I know my mom is a huge fan of your guys' desserts and we're heading into the berry season, so you guys incorporate that as well. Absolutely, we love to use fresh berries. There's a ton of berries grown in the area and we take full advantage of it, making fresh pie every day. It's how we do things here. Everything is made on a daily basis. It's all fresh, right to your plate. And it's worked really well for us. Awesome. Well, I can't wait for Todd to try the beef dip because I know, I know I've built it up quite a bit, but it's going to exceed his expectations. All this talk about food, it's time now to head over to Michael Williams, our island chef. This looks awesome. Thank you so much. This is the famous beef dip. I can't wait for you to try it, Todd. Are you ready? I am ready, yay! All right, well that pretty much brings us to the end of this episode of Go Island. One thing to note, that the Crone Gate Pub is open seven days a week from 11 to 11, and you can try this for yourself. Thanks for watching.